Good afternoon, Sanger Unified teachers. This is Rachel, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to set up the new Canvas PowerSchool grade pass back um, if you use Canvas regularly. So you're going to want to start in PowerSchool. Um, go to Power Teacher Pro, your grade book, click on grading, click on categories. That's where I am. So um, you want to make sure that you have the categories here that you want. Uh, side note, if it has a little schoolhouse next to it, it's an auto-created category. Um, it's created by the district settings. Um, so you want to make sure that these are, in fact, um, the categories you want to use. You want to make sure they're active. If you don't know how to do that, click Edit. Um, and there's this inactive, active option. And then there's a button that you don't see on mine, but that you will see on yours that says Save. Um, and this time around, you don't need to select, um, you know, be specific about which class um, you want it to go to because, or be associated with, because within Canvas, you can make that specific association. So you can just check them all, um, make sure to click save. If you have a bunch of extra categories as a side note that you don't want to use um, that are not schoolhouses, right? These ones are automatically going to, um, pop up whether or not you want them to or not. But like this one down here, practice. If you wanted to delete it, you can click that edit button again. And in the opposite corner of that pop-up window should be a delete option. And you can go through that delete, um, those delete steps and delete those categories that you have previously made that you don't want anymore. Okay, so let's just assume that these are the categories we want. Um, one other thing to check, if you go to settings, traditional grade calculations, um, this is where you get to choose whether or not you want your grades to be determined by points or by weights. Um, so like, um, yeah, so for math eight, it looks like there's weighting, um, weighting and category weighting. It looks like the um, intervention entrepreneurship classes don't have that. Um, so just to show you how to do that, if you come over here to actions, um, you get to select, okay, so I want assignments to be this percent, quizzes to be that percent. These just have to add up to 100. Click save, you're done. Okay, so take note, category weighting, actually I'm going to reopen that. So this is what we want category weighting to look like. I'm actually going to leave this open. Now I'm going to go over here to Canvas, and I'm going to create those categories. Um, so if this teacher already has them in place, um, but if you needed to create them, you would just go to Group, and you know, let's see, what's the first one? Assignments. Um, and I will add it's twenty percent of the grade. And it's going to make that category, and of course, it's going to go slowly. So that popped up down here, and you can see it's 20% of the grade. So that's how you make an assignment category, and you would go through and do that for each of these quiz, test, iReady lessons. Um, but he's already done that, so I'm going to delete this one that I just made. Okay, so now is the important part where you tell Canvas to talk to PowerSchool. Like, you basically are giving it permission and saying, when you're syncing grades, this category matches this one and this ma category matches that one. So you go to the three dots in Canvas and click on Sync Sys. Oh, that disappeared, sorry. My screen is acting funky. Okay, there we go. Sync Sys categories. Okay, so this is the part that looks a little different. Um, aside from having to actually type in your categories in Canvas before, um, you could just sync the categories and it would automatically pull them in from from Can or from PowerSchool and you wouldn't have to type anything in, but this time you do. So we did that already. Now we have these four <clears throat> categories um, that we need to tell Canvas, okay, when you sync to PowerSchool, you want these this category in Canvas to match this core category in PowerSchool. So you click the drop down, and this is the assignments. Um, so you would find assignments, and if you want it to be, a, if you want that category to be associated with all of your classes, you would do this assignments um, quiz. Same thing. So we go through 
Uh, maybe I don't want quizzes to be associated with one of these sections, my sixth period or something. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, associate that. But we do, so I'm just going to click quiz. Same thing with test. Um, and what you can see is that once I make that change, it'll show up here that I've changed one association. And then the last category, I ready lessons. And I'm going to click Sync Categories. Categories synchronized successfully. So what I'm going to see over here, um, if I refresh my screen, just waiting, 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 is that this little pass back icon has showed up, which tells me these categories know which category to filter into when I sync with Canvas. The last thing to set in Canvas is your category weights, which this teacher has already done. So assignments is 20%. You can see that here it matches. Um, quizzes are 30%. You can see that matches. And on test 40, I ready lessons 10. So test 40, I ready 10. Okay, perfect. It matches. Um, so this teacher set it up great. But if you don't know how to do that, you would click on the three dots and assignment group weights, and you would add those percentages here. And they just have to add up to 100 and match these. So save. And that's it. Um, so when you want to sync your grades, you have two options. You can click on grades um, if you're entering grades and you just want um, you know, some of your grades to sync. That's one of the benefits of this new integration is that you don't have to sync all of them. Um, so I can look at just a section um, if I want to. Let's just pull up that section. Um, but if I do grade book, no, I'm sorry, not that. Right here, sync. They move the button on me. Sync to sys. That's how you do that. Um, let's just do that real quick. And I believe that this screen is going to look a little different. I'm learning this just like you guys are, so be patient. Okay, so yeah, um, there'll be a list of all of the assignments here, and you can uncheck any that you don't want to sync. Like maybe you haven't finished grading them, and you want all your kids to get the grades at the same time. Um, you can do that. Okay, the other way that you can check um, or that you can push a grade sync click on the three pancakes and go to grade sync in your course navigation menu. And if there are grades that are beyond two weeks old, so more than two weeks past, um, if you click utilities, you can two things, turn on a nightly sync. So if you want your grades to sync every night automatically, regardless of where you stand with grading a specific assignment, you can turn that on. Um, or if you have grades that are over two weeks old and for some reason your grade book is acting funky and you just want to resync it to make sure everything's good, you can click remaster grade pass back. That just means it's going to resync all of your grade book um, just to make sure it's all aligned. Okay, that is the end of your tutorial. If you have questions, please let me know. Have a great day.